What's up, everybody? So, um, the new item that I just got from the new summon, the... <laughs> I can't even pronounce the damn thing. Um, the ye <laughs> I'm not even going to try. Anyway, the new headpiece that lets you um, increase an ally's magic defense by uh, 10%, the one that you actually get to pick, this is what this video is about. That's what I'm going to be testing out. I did equip the item onto uh, Cellophane. 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 So she has the item right now. We're going to see how it works because at the end of this turn, it should somehow prop the ability for me to increase the magic defense of one of my units. And questions I have are like, can she do it to herself? Because it doesn't say that she can't do it to herself. We'll find out right now, I guess. Um, well, that's not worth it. I'm only reaching one of them. So here she is. She's going to do her turn. She's going to move up. And let's see. Huh. I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it. It's not letting me choose who to put any blessing on. Hold on. Let's uh Let's actually do some sort of attack with her. Does that do it? Do I got to attack somebody and then I get to No, I'm not seeing it yet. So Am I doing something wrong? I don't know. Does it not proc on the goblin stage? <laughs> like, why wouldn't it? Oh, weird, weird, weird. Very weird. Huh. Well, at least clock's proccing for us. That's cool. I know I changed her equipment. So. The real question is, why... Like, I don't see that blessing going off at all. It's not asking me who to put a blessing on. Maybe it doesn't work in the goblin stage, but that doesn't make sense. Because I should be able to scale up Basil's magic defense, even in this stage, to do more damage to, to goblins and stuff. So I don't understand why it wouldn't let me do that. Or why it would have an issue with me doing that. Very weird. We'll go back to you, you bastard. Very weird. Again, I'm not seeing it. Kind of worries me. Well, at least I have Lana deciding the winner. <laughs> get Basel lined up over here. I hold on to Basel's Earthquake for, like, one of the very last couple turns. Who's got more hit points to steal? Oh, she's at full health, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, I, I, I don't see where it's asking me to... Salafine. And I couldn't have put it on her sister because she can't... Uh, she's the wrong class to equip this item. So I'm not seeing where it's letting me choose who to put some sort of buff on. Kind of frustrating. Uh, what is not frustrating is how many clocks we've gotten during this. <laughs> oh, there's another one. She just spams that every turn. Okay, Uncle Basil. You can throw your earthquake now, sir. Boom. Lestelle's been waiting for a while. She can hardly wait. Yeah, I'd love to. Use your item. 
Do I get to pick? No. What is going on here? What do, what do I got to do? Tell me what to do, Cellophane. Tell me what to do. This is weird. So, guys, I guess I'm going to have to try this on another map. It doesn't make sense to me why um, this doesn't work. Um, we can double check. We can go into my items. Um, we, we, we can double check what's going on with this thing. As soon as we get out of this screen, I'll be more than happy to go back into characters and look at the item that I have equipped on her. Is there something I need to do to activate this thing? Am I missing something? Do I have to do a little dance? Like, what is going on here? Or maybe it just, for whatever reason, the mechanic of it just does not work in the goblin stage. Kind of bothers me. Kind of worries me a little bit. Like, if it doesn't work in the goblin stage, how do we know that it's going to work in all the other ones? I don't know. Let's see. First of all, let's make sure I'm not tripping. Here she is. Equipment. Yeah, it's on her because it wants me to replace it. Here's the item that we're talking about. The Yggdrasil Wraith. Okay, the Y Wraith. I'm just going to be calling it the Y Wraith from now on. I mean, you guys, you guys got to hear me try to pronounce it. This is the Y Wraith. Hit points plus four. When turn ends, which we just watched four turns end, Choose one friendly unit to receive 12% magic defense and immunity to blah, blah, blah. I didn't get to choose anything. Okay, so this... This bothers me. This worries me right now. I might have to get a hold of support. Because, you know, you can say that it's the goblin level. It doesn't matter. Um, but I would argue that it does matter because somebody might want to go into the goblin level and they might want to use that ability to increase Basel's magic defense so that Basel can do more damage with his earthquake or something like that. The point is, is this thing should have been working. Um, if we can demonstrate that it works here, if we can demonstrate that it works here, in fact, if I'm going to run her Let's see. Sacrifices are going to have to be made, boys. Um, wait, where's where's Basel? Oh my goodness, there's not even a Basel here. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to put you in. And um, cellophane. Yeah, okay. Do, 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 do. And if we're going to do that... We'll put Rachel instead of you. Now, this is a much weaker party now. <laughs> We're going to have to see how we do. The whole point of this isn't even to win. I just want to see um, the Y Wraith actually work. I want it to be like, okay, Vlad, who do you want to give your buff to? That's what I'm looking for here, boys and girls. So, let's see. We're not off to a very good start, but then again, it was the goblin stage. What are you going to do? I know you can't, Lestelle. Let's see, and you are pretty buff right now. Let's see, if Lestelle doesn't attack, I just want to make sure that I could somehow finish this guy off. No. Okay, see, and then right there, at the end of the turn, I didn't get to... Ch well, no, that was just her turn. Okay. Pretty much if I stand here, I should be able to choose somebody to put this buff on. Am I missing something, guys? Cellophane is right here. This doesn't seem to be working. Um, I haven't seen her put a buff on anybody. Uh, kind of troubling. At the same time, these are all new items, all new gear, and all new equipment. Um, they don't work particularly right. Um, 
What don't I want you to do, Listel? What don't I want you to do? Listel is like one and done, son. She does everything. Okay. You're not gonna let me choose? One, two, three. Ah, uh, if you weren't in the way. If you weren't in the way, Lana'd be toast. Oh, you're just gonna stay here. Can we tag her? Oh, it's just not enough. Oh, oh, there it goes. There it goes. It said, it said, uh, uh, whatever greetings or whatever, but it didn't let me choose. I saw it start to proc. And then maybe it got cut off by this animation. Is it gonna let me choose? Ah, it didn't let me choose. I was, I feel like I was this close from choosing. What the hell is going on here? Let's try going with her first. Okay. So, boom, I did some damage. Magic Lynch Festival. Okay, so she just, by default, put this buff on Rachel. Attack intelligence for defense. Yeah, right here. Immunity, stun speed, decrease. That buff navigation effects. Okay. So I see the immunity. Magic defense plus 30%. I'm already getting that from the... Okay, so I, I don't know, guys. This, this one's weird. It's It says in the item description that it will let you choose who you will be putting this buff on. I'm not seeing it, though. I haven't got to choose anybody. Um... Jeez. Jeez Louise. Well, I, I don't know. Until I can figure this out, maybe even... I might have to just ask support. Am I missing something? Is the description wrong? I don't know. I don't know. I, 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 at least we got the thing to proc. Um... I'm just not actually seeing the ability to to give somebody that buff. Maybe it was interrupted by um, the enemy's action sequence. I, I don't know. So, and if anybody out there knows something that I'm missing, like, let me know. Is, is there a way I have to do this? But it's saying that I should be able to choose who that goes on. Now, the nearest person to you getting that buff, to me, that's not choosing. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's not. We'll try it again. There, there it goes. Festival's greetings. Okay, so we just gave the blessing to uh, Listel. I can see it because it's immune to stun speed and buff uh, negating effects. But I'm not getting to choose who I put this on. What is going on here? Because if I don't get to choose, then truth be told, this item just lost a lot. A lot of value. Um, I'm gonna have to research this, guys. Uh, and hey, it could just be, you know, an issue with the system. These are new items. You know, the best we can do is make sure they're they're working. Right support if they don't. I don't know. Also, this item has a unique mechanic. That's why there might be an issue. Here. That's the only thing I can think of. On a side note, though, this team's doing pretty good. Um, this isn't really a team that I run. Like, yeah, Lestal here is pretty strong, but 
some of these other characters really aren't. So this is cool. This is the pretty much the Yales Legends team on my main account. I haven't invested really anything into these guys. Um, I just put whatever gear I had on them. So they're a little over like, they're in the 3000s somewhere. Um, of course, Leon is not. He's at like 4900. Okay. Festival greeting. There we go. How come I didn't get to pick who that went on? So yeah, guys, this is what it's looking like. Um, I don't know if this item is working the way that it's supposed to, um, because it's, it does say that I'm supposed to be able to choose who these things go on. I'm not seeing that, unfortunately. What are we going to do? Tell you what we're going to do. We're going to win this level and get... Uh, hopefully get a Trinity voucher and maybe pull those boots because I know at least those boots will work you will get plus one movement um, so far for the so much for the ticket now as far as um, these new items go I personally think that th this Wraith is worth it if it works the way that it's supposed to okay because it also gives you hit points and if you get to choose who the buff goes on that's a world of a difference, even though I'm not seeing it yet. The other item that I would want are the boots. Boots are very special. They're the only boots that give you attack. They give you some magic defense, and they give you attack, and they give you added mobility. The only other boots we have that give you mobility are boots that just give you magic defense, which is one of the best items for Basel, because it gives him an extra movement. Um, I also have those boots. I have a couple pairs of them. They're useful. There is an SSR pair, you know, version of that item, and I believe it gives defense and some hit points, and it gives you um, plus one to your movement. They're better boots for, like, a tank to wear, and those are the SSR. Ver I've always thought they were the SSR version of the, the golden boots that increase your movement by one. So when I saw another pair of boots, I was already interested because that plus one movement is a, is a game changer. So if we can get plus one movement on a pair of boots that also give you attack, yeah, I'm going to be looking into that. And I, I wish I could get those boots, <laughs> truth be told. So, But I'm going to try to figure out what's going on with, with, with the Y uh, Wraith and why it's not working right. If I find anything out, I will let you guys know. Um, if there's anything I missed or if there's a way I have to activate this item or something stupid... I'm sure somebody will let me know. Leave me a comment. So, Mobile Gamers Unite, I'm going to keep fishing. You guys have a good day. Enjoy our new update.